Tell me what's wrong. Oh, baby's gone. Come here, come here. Come here. Oh. Lovely Linda keeps it in the club. Oh, this is all gold. Ex Harchester owner Karen, her manager's love child. Whoops. Well done, Fletch. Ever thought of applying for the diplomatic corps? And what did I do? It weren't me who did the dirty deed, was it? Ain't been for a want to try now, eh, bro? <laughs> you do know that Linda lost her baby, don't you? Sorry, babes. <laughs> Bad taste, right? Why don't you try thinking before you open that gob of yours? <laughs> New management fails to breathe fire into dragons. Dragons slaughtered. It takes more than cash. Prash. You're supposed to be in charge of press and PR. I can't stop the team losing. Anyway, nobody's going to be interested in the back pages today. They'll be far more interested in page one. How the hell did they get hold of that story? Well, Paul Hankin noticed she was pregnant and asked me who the father was. You! Was. You gave him the story. Did I tell you to do that? No, but... Never I... say anything to any journalist unless and until I expressly tell you to do so! Sure. Listen, Prash, we haven't really talked yet about what I'll be doing here. My share package... Tatani. No, I didn't know that. That's absolutely terrible. She has my deepest sympathy. No, I don't have any comment to make beyond that. No, I don't think the two things are connected. I'm sorry, I'm in a meeting. Linda has lost the baby. Paul Hankin wants to know if I think there's a connection between the stress of losing the club and her miscarriage. Oh. Hmm. You all right? Yeah. Where's Jamie? I don't reckon he's going to make training. What of all these problems? Yeah, we all know he's got problems, mate, but him sitting up there and brooding about it isn't going to do any good, is it? I mean, I thought we were supposed to be a team. I just hold your head up high, Linda. Come on, you lot. Show's over. We got training, with or without the gaffer. Told me to get you anything. Must be ages since you've been. Told me to phone your sisters. Listen. Uh, Papers have got hold of the story about me and you. I had Ankin on the phone all last night. I didn't tell him anything, but that didn't stop him. When I talk at the club, the town will have a field day. Because he's not too pleased. Ray, I don't give a damn about Hankin and the papers, Prashant Tani, or that miserable little club. And least of all, what Kitty thinks about it, all right? I've just lost my little boy. I might never have children again. You don't know that. Ray, just please leave me alone. Just please, just go. It was my baby as well, Linda. I had a go at that council yesterday. Oi! What was the council like? I don't know. I found it hard to relate to her. 
I shouldn't even know what a betting slip was. How you feel? Worse. Brought a lot of stuff up for me. Just trying to get through the day without a bet. Anyway, I'll be in the bog if anyone wants me. Oh, well, hang in there, eh? I tell you, I'm worried, Monday. Look, it was a setback. We still have a chance. You reckon? Look at us, mate. We're in a mess. Ray's mind's going to be all over the place this week. How we're supposed to get ready for Sunday, I'll never know. We could miss out on a UEFA Cup spot, let alone a Champions League. I'm telling you, mate, we've got to do something. Car! Dear me! It's like a morgue in here. Why is everyone stood down? In case you hadn't noticed, this team is in bits, pal. Speak for yourself, bruv. Yeah, don't worry about it. Flesh is still here, ain't he? Well, I'm worried about Jamie. Can't afford to worry about someone who ain't in the team. Well, he should be. His head's all over the place. We need him back. How'd you fathom that? Eh? That goal yesterday weren't Ashley Harrison's fault. No, but when Jamie's on form, he commands the box, leaving me free to concentrate on what I do. I really don't want to be worrying about some reserve team goalkeeper. Dear, oh dear, oh dear. Sounds to me like you're trying to shift the blame, sunshine. Oh, yeah? And what do you know about this, Eddie? You can't even see beyond your own selfish little world. Hey, watch it. That's my mate you're talking about. I am sick to death of all this arguing. Will you all just shut up? Yeah, right? Yeah. Hiya. Hi. I'll see you both. Yeah. Kitty. Don't, please. No excuses. <sighs> Look, I just wanted to make sure she was okay. That's it now, it's finished. What's wrong? You subject me to that humiliation down in the lobby and you ask me what's wrong. I'm sorry, I didn't know they were going to be there, did I? My life has been public humiliation ever since you came to England. I'm tired of it. How many more ways of hurting me are you going to find? Look, we're trying to make this work again, aren't we? We'll leave, we'll go back to Devon. I'll get another job. Is that what you want? If that's what it takes, yeah. I thought you wanted to stay for the West Ham game. That's the Tarnie's problem now, not mine. Come on, Danny! Keep up, son. Oh, get off his case, you! Someone's got to have a word of him after his performance yesterday. And I don't see Ray White here, do you? Yeah, you weren't exactly world class yourself, Fletch. You're better than the economy class, kid. Yeah, come, come on, on, come on, come, come on, down, man. It's Fletch. He winds people up, that's his job. We've got to get used to it. What's wrong with this team? Hey, Danny, bro. If you tell me that you're okay, I'll leave you alone. Linda. They let me hold him, you know. He was perfect. Every little thing. He had the tiny little fingers. So small, they didn't even look real. He was so lovely. And I just wanted to cuddle him. Make him all right. And I couldn't. I couldn't help him. And when I held him, nothing. It was my little boy. I've come to give you me notice. I want to leave straight away. You can't do that. Oh, I can. My contract expired a while ago. It's never been renewed. No, I meant you can't do that to the team, the fans. Ray, we're on the threshold of the Champions League, a position this club has never been in. 
All of it's your work. Don't you want to see it through? I can't. Personal reasons. This business with Linda, you mean? I'm very sorry, by the way. Uh, sorry? Me. You wouldn't know the meaning of the word. You drove her to it when you hounded her out. My son would still be alive if it wasn't for you. Right, enough. No, not nearly enough. You lie, you cheat, you blackmail people. It was your girlfriend who planted the story about me and Linda, and don't deny it, because Paul Hankin told me. I wouldn't manage a club for you. You look here and put you through the window! Bye, lads. Can I have your attention? Yeah, I've just come from a meeting with the new chairman. And there are certain things going on at this club which mean I can't work here anymore. So I've resigned. I don't believe this. You're going to leave us just before a big game? Look, it's not about one game. It's about what you've achieved over the season. You all know your jobs. You're experienced professionals. So from now on, Andy's going to be taking care of things. Ray, you can't leave us now. Look, I just want to say thanks for your commitment. And good luck, lads. Yeah, Jeff, it's me. Look, uh, Ray White has gone and quit on me. Yes, really. Now, I need you to find me a new manager, pronto. I'll get back to you. What do you want, Fletch? Oh, very clever, Mr Chairman. You've got the hang of this already. What? Well, getting Ray White to resign instead of sacking him. Well, that way, you save a fortune paying up his contract. Right, yeah. Well, that makes me the man, yeah? S sorry, what are you talking about, Fletch? The new manager. You said I could have the job once you took control of the club. Yeah, uh... well, Of course, it's not ideal. I mean, playing as well as managing. But uh, the right man for the job, which is me, can handle it. Right, OK. You're the man in charge. Top man. I like a man who keeps his promises. Oh, and uh, we'll talk about that pancreas later, shall we? Right. I've spoken to the tenants on the farm, and they're happy to move out a couple of weeks early. And the furniture's going to be delivered from storage on Thursday. Slow down. Look, I want to get away from here as quickly as possible. If we leave around two, we'll be in Devon for half six. Today? Ray, the tenants are doing us a favour by going early as it is. We can't just turn up and expect them to leave. Look, why don't we stay here tonight and set off first thing in the morning? Yeah, I know, but... But nothing. We're not running away. Now, come on. If you're lucky, once we've packed, I might even let you take me out for a meal. As you know, Ray Wyatt has left us in the lurch, I'm afraid, gentlemen. Which means we're in a bit of a crisis. But, come at the hour, come at the man. I've decided that Carl Fletcher will be assuming control of team affairs. He is a genuine Harchester hero, the fans' favourite, and I'm sure he will find favour with you. So, I will leave you in his capable hands. Right, you lucky lads. I'm now plan manager, which means you get the best of both worlds. And what are your plans? Don't worry, Monday, son. You're safe, unlike a few of you around here. Now, you work hard for me, and you'll find me a fair boss. Oh, and that's what I want to be called, by the way. Boss. <laughs> We're going to play my brand of football, which is attacking football, to make the most of our assets, like myself and Monday here. So I want you all to get behind me, yeah? And let's do it for the dragons. Go on, you boss in Ray, lads. All right, Ed, all right. <clears throat> right, we're going to have two sessions today. Physical work later, but first, a little bit of team rebuilding. Something to cheer us up. So I'm going to get changed. I'll meet you in the gym in two minutes, right? Hey, boss. It sounds like you've been thinking about this for a while. Do you know the gap was going on? Of course not. No. Oh, come on, lads. Top to it. Yeah, come on, lads. Gaffer's poking. Fletch, can I have a word? Yeah. Just wanted to say congratulations on getting the job. Thanks, babe. I'll see you later, yeah? Oh, Fletch, I'm getting a lot of press interest in you. It's no surprise there, I suppose. I'm laying on a press conference later. That all right with you? Of course. As long as you tell the TV people my right side's the best. Shall we? Oh, what's this, Mr. Fletcher? Oh, sorry, was it boss? <laughs> That's better. 
This is table football, boys, only on a larger scale. We get inside, then we become the players. It's like fun, eh, boys? Yeah, Skip, I tell you what, you and the defence could learn how to move together with this. <laughs> no, 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 Ed's got a point, mate. Oh, but the main objective... Ed, 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 just calm down. Sorry, boss. All right? Look, the main objective is to have fun, yeah? I think we need cheering up, don't you? So get involved. So some fun, boys, come on! <laughs> what is he on? The skipper. Jamie's not here, mate. Oh, has he stayed inside, has he? Yeah, to be fair, that makes sense. This is enough to send anyone over the edge. Excuse me, boss. What? What about Jamie? And what about him? Well, he's not here, is he? So? Look, you know he's got a gambling problem, don't you? Look, what's the problem? He earns plenty of money and he spends it. Problem solved. Look around you, it's affecting the whole team. I don't think so. Because he ain't going to be in my team. All right? Now get in there. Go on. So when they all arrive, send them straight up, OK? Oh, be careful, Zoe. There's a lot of media interest, so be nice to them. We need all the good publicity we can get at the moment. Time to. Just because you didn't enjoy it, Conlon. Hands up all those who did. Oh, that was wicked, boss. Nice one. Thanks. See? That was all about bonding and unity. You're just going to have to accept the will of the team, as well as mine. Well, when we finish bonding, do you think we can have some proper coaching, please? You missed the word. What? Boss. Boss. That's better. That didn't hurt, did it? All right, lads, that's lunch. And they're now on the training pitch. That's all right with you, Matt? Oh, one more thing. I didn't appreciate what you did back then. Don't ever undermine my authority in front of the lads again. OK? I said OK! OK! Oh, 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 oh. It's a bit daft, me being manager and you being captain. I'll tell you what, Matt. Come Sunday, I'll wear the captain's armband. All right? Come on, Matt. What are you doing? None of your business. Look, I've seen this far too many times with my dad, right? Just get a grip. Just give me the phone yeah. back. Just give me the phone get back. Off. Oi, oi, oi! A bit of spirit in the dressing room. That's what I like. He's only took the captaincy off me. <laughs> Wait. Says he can do a better job. Do you think he can hack it? But maybe we should give him a chance. He can't just cheer people up at the drop of a hat. We'll cheer up with proper training, and when we start righting the wrongs, I'll ask Saturday. Well, if we do not get the technical expertise, then maybe Fletcher should play these games. Yeah, well, that's one way of looking at it. You know, I'm really starting to get worried about Jamie. So what do you want me to do about it? Well, nothing. There's nothing we can do. I mean, addict can help an addict. What, and you know one, do you? You know, I just might do. Well, in that case, bruv, let's sort it out, eh? Everything all right, lads? Good training session this morning? Yeah, yeah brilliant, thanks, Mr Chairman. Excellent. That's the spirit. Press conference is fixed for after training, Fletch, all right? Yeah. What press conference? The media's dying to meet Fletch. He's big profile. It's a good story for the club. Maybe, but count me out, though, eh? Right, listen up, lads. I want the ball worked out the way they wide on the left, yeah? Eddie, quality ball back post. No probs, boss. Right, Monday, make the dummy run to the near post. Take the central defenders with you, and then I'll clean up back stick. You got that? Excuse me. What about the defence? Well, if this is done properly, Sunshine, their defence won't get a look in. I'm talking about our defence. What do we do? I've had a word with Andy about that, and he'll sort you out. All right. Andy, take the defence over there, will you? Coming in, boys. Come on in, let's have you. Come on, boys, the boss is spoken. Wait! Yes! 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 That's how it's done! 
one. Same again, boys. Oh, Danny, make sure the boy actually when he's in front of him, yeah, so he can whip it out first time without adjusting his stride. Listen, bro, I turn bad boys into good ones, all right? Keep your smile in, keep your head up. Come on, boys, Gaffer's waiting, come on! Look at him. It's like a big kid playing table football. Mm. Are you thinking what I am thinking? Yeah. Okay, let's do it after training. Sweet, Danny, come on! Come on over, Gaff! All right, Ed, that'll do, yeah? Campbell, take over on the left. Whoa, 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 bruv, what are you doing? The boss to you, remember? Look, I need a more quality ball from over there, Ed, and you just ain't delivering, sunshine. Let's go again. Well, yeah, but... No buts! Look, boys, the only way we're going to beat West Ham is if I get the right service, yeah? So let's go again. Come on. Right, George, if you just lay one of these on each chair, that would be great. I don't see problem. Welcome, gentlemen. You're the first, but I'm sure there will be many. Perhaps if you'd like to set up over there, Carl Fletcher will be joining us shortly, as soon as he's finished training. And go. All right, lads, that'll do ya. Good session. I've got a press conference to do now, so you can have the rest of the day off. Yeah, yeah, you can have a word now. Not now, Ed. Didn't you hear? They want me for a press conference. He needs sorting out, lads. The only way he will ever make a coach if they pull his teeth out and put 52 seats in there. All set? Yeah. Be a breeze. Just remember to try and keep it upbeat, OK? OK. Thank you all for coming, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Dutani is sorry that a prior engagement prevents him from attending this afternoon, but he's asked me to read out a statement. Following the sudden resignation of Ray Wyatt due to family pressure, I am delighted to announce that Carl Fletcher, our local hero, will take charge of the team for this Sunday's game against West Ham. I wish him every success. Now I'm sure Carl will be delighted to take your questions. Fletch, it sounds from that statement as if you're just a caretaker. Uh, no, I think you'll find I'm in permanent charge and uh, Mr. Tani's had it in mind for some time. Yeah, uh, the lady at the back. He was planning to sack Ray Wyatt as soon as he got control. Well, you're going to have to ask the chairman about that one, sweetheart, but you could say a partner of the ways was inevitable. What are your immediate plans for the team? Well, uh, we've got the big game at the weekend, and I'm obviously looking forward to uh, stamping my mark with the team. This is turning into a farce. This is making it sound as I plotted to give him the job. Well, to be fair, Press, he's got no real training for it. I'll be a laughing stop. Well, perhaps you should send him on a management course. That's if he's going to do it full time. He isn't. I want you to find me a top European manager. I'm hoping the Fletcher won't be able to do too much damage this week, but after that, we need to have the very best. But thank you, Sandra. We'll pour it ourselves. I want someone like that to garner at Fulham. Or, um, what about Viali? He's doing his coaching badge here at the moment, isn't he? He won't come cheap. And there's no issue. Anyway, I'll, uh, be making some savings around here soon. Then we'll be talking about the millions he'll want to spend on players. Don't worry about it. Come Sunday, we'll be in the Champions League, and next season, the new TV Premiership deal kicks in. If you want my advice, you wouldn't spend it before you got it. It's about time we stop fighting fires around here, reacting to events. We need to make things happen, start thinking big again. We need to kick in this week. Because after Sunday, 80% of the club chairman in Europe will be looking for a new manager. I'll get on the phone, find my contacts. You do the business, Jeff, and you will be well rewarded. So, I'm looking forward to proving that one man can be a top-class player and manager. Matt, as captain, what do you think about Fletch becoming manager? Come on, Matt. I think we know where we should go. Could you please contain your questions to Mr. Fletcher? Very well, thank you. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. I think I've got the message across. So you fancy a drink later? Maybe. <laughs> Hello. Bye. OK. I'm on my way. I think that went rather well. That was a shambles. I did my best. I'm sorry. That's just not good enough, Victoria. Things will have to change around here. We need to be more professional. What do you mean? I'm going to get a chief executive from the business world. I'm going to get some consultants in. They'll be handing a PR. So, what do you want me to do? Nothing. I'm afraid I don't see a role for you. I can't just keep running Patterson PR without the club. I won't have any clients. You're right. I'm winding Patterson Palmer up. 
If you think I'm walking away with nothing, you're very much mistaken. You promised me half a million. The club is going to be needing all my money, I'm afraid. Sorry about that. You are unbelievable. You've used me. Now you're all used up. What a shame. Now, if you excuse me, I have other pressing business. <sighs> you won't get away with this. Hey, Kitty. Can we have a word with Ray, please? Yeah, sure. Come Ray? What can I do for you? Well, I don't know whether you've heard or not, but the town has put Carl Fletcher in charge. Yeah, well, they deserve each other. It is a nightmare. He, he does not know what he's doing. What am I supposed to do about it? We need you back, Gaffer. He'll take back your resignation, no problem. You know that. No way. I've had a belly full of the town. Well, don't do it for him. Do it for us. Look, you brought me to this club. Yeah, and me. Do not walk out now when we're on the brink of achieving something really big. You would be the toast of all the smaller clubs in Europe. No way, lads. There's no going back. If you don't mind, we're a bit busy. We ready for that drink yet? I forgot. You don't, do you? Do you mind? You sure I can't tempt you? They say she had a hard time. I think the future's coming back. And I am fine, cause all my love's electrifying. All right, we're done. Are you sure you're doing the right thing? How do you mean? Giving it up just like that. Leaving the boys on their own days before the most important game of their lives. Oh, Kitty. You said if our marriage was going to work, it's got to be away from Harchester. Well, I want this marriage to work. What happened with Linda? Listen to me. I can't change what happened. Every time I look at her, all I can see is the pain I've caused you. It's time to go. Right. About the baby. I'm sorry, I'm not ready to talk about it. Right, I'll uh, go into the storage people, see what time the furniture's being delivered. It's all right, babe. Sometimes it just doesn't happen. It's no big deal. Just go, Fletch, will you? Well, don't take it out of me. It's not my fault. Listen, Fletch. The only reason I ever slept with you was because Presh wanted me to. And seeing as he doesn't have any use for me anymore, I don't have a use for you. What are you talking about? You really are as stupid as you look, aren't you? Well, let me spell it out for you. Prash has dumped me. And if I know him, it won't be too long before he dumps you too. Oh. Oh, I see. You're miffed because he's giving you the elbow. Well, I don't blame him. What you see you, eh? Whereas for me, he needs me. I'm the talent. The talent. Now you're just a pretty face. I'm sorry about what happened before. I was just trying to help you. All right. Just back off, OK? You've got no idea how this feels. Yeah, I know I don't. But I've called a man who does. He's been through everything that you're going through right now. Will you see him? Jamie, this is Joe. It's my dad. Good to meet you. Look, mate, 
No disrespect, but I fail to see how I'm like you. Do you know how much money I earn? That's just it, son. It doesn't matter how much you earn. You'll spend as much as you can lay your hands on. Believe me, I wasn't always skint. It's the betting that's got me there. So now you're playing Danny's Samaritan father. I'm lucky I'm doing anything with Danny. He never spoke to me for seven years what I did to the family. How's your home life? It's all right. I've got no kids. It's just my wife. She stuck by me, to be fair. Well, you're lucky. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry, but if I wanted some advice, I would have asked for it. And I'm sorry that you've had a wasted trip, but I've really got... I haven't done one thing right by that boy in my whole life. Do you know that? When he phoned me asking me if I could help, I just thought, if I could just do one good thing, just one, it'd make up for all the times he needed me and I wasn't there. It's typical, isn't it? The one thing he sees me good for is to show how not to live your life. But you're too much like me. Too stupid to realise what you got before you throw it all away. I don't know what to do. Let me help you, son. How can you help me? How can anyone help me? Well, I've got you now, innit, eh, boy? What do you want? Hand me on a training pitch. You can't pull me off for one bad ball. Why can't I? I'm the manager now. I do what I want. I'm the left wing back in the team. Uh, uh, not anymore, you're not, sunshine. You drop for Sunday. I thought we were mates, Fletch. <laughs> Managers don't have mates. <laughs> so please. Right, Moliano. That's gonna cost you a week's wages. Yeah, but that ain't fair! You're right. It ain't. Make it two. Now off you go. You... Touch me again, there'll be suspension. So, you still on it? I haven't had a bet in three years. <laughs> How'd you manage that? I couldn't imagine going five minutes without wanting a punt. Well, I didn't say I didn't want to. What, you still... Jamie, I'm addicted like you are. Just because I'm not betting it doesn't mean I've, I've got it beat. So, so how'd you do it then? Well, I ain't had a bet today. And when I wake up tomorrow, I'll try not to have one then either. Take it one day at a time. Sounds easy. It's simple, but it's not easy. You'll get cravings. So what do I do then? You ring me. People like me who've been there and understand. Go to meetings, talk about your problems. You'll all come right and you'll, you'll not want to bet any longer. I just feel like such an idiot, you know, not being able to stop. I mean, it's not like drugs or something physical, it's up here. It's an illness just like alcoholism or drugs. And once you accept that, the sooner you're going to start getting better. It's so hard when people try and help you, you know, like, like Danny or... Or my wife. I just seem to shut them out. It's because you feel embarrassed. Yeah. Well, let me tell you now, it's no good thinking like that. You bottle up your feelings, block out your wife, your mates, you're in trouble. Count yourself lucky you've got people around you who care. Here. Yeah. Any time you feel like a bet, call me. I mean it, any time. Thanks, Joe. <laughs> Thanks a lot. I think there's something you should know. Well, what's happened, sweetheart? I overheard Crash talking to Jeff Stein about finding him a new manager. <laughs> you must be mistaken. I'm the new manager. No, I mean after Sunday. He wants Jeff to find him a foreign coach. I don't believe it. He's not going to get away with it. Thanks a lot, Joe. And thanks for everything. It's all right, don't mention it. All right, I'll uh, leave you two to it then. Cheers, mate. So, um, how did it go, then? It was a bit embarrassed to begin with, but uh, once you got it started, it, it gets easier. Listen, thanks for coming down. I really appreciate it. Hey, no, no, I'm, I'm just glad that I could help. Well, look, I mean, I could be getting a couple of days off next week or something. Maybe we go for a drink. Yeah, I'd like that, son. Well, I better be getting back.
See you later, son. Good night, Mr. Tony. Mm. Oi! What's going on? What do you mean? I just heard you looking for a new manager. <laughs> Who have you been speaking to? Well, so it's true, then? No, it's not. I have to explore all the options, just in case. In case of what? Say you don't like the job. Say it affects your game. How are you going to happen? Look, you're still a young man. I would hate for you to pack up early to concentrate on management when you've got so much to offer as a player. I just want to make the best use of you, OK? Fletch, look, don't worry, yeah? This is all happens so quickly. You're not having a laugh on me, are you? Fletch, win the game for me on Sunday, and you're the man in possession, OK? Go away. Linda, it's Victoria. Please, open the door. Please. Leave me alone! Your boyfriend sent you, did he? Just to see if I was as bad as he hoped. Well, you can tell him I am. He's done the same to me. He's used me, and now he can't even bear to look at me. I've got nothing. You're drunk. It was me. I told the press about you and Ray and the baby. I didn't mean to hurt anyone. I thought that was what he wanted me to do. If I'd known... If you'd known what? That I was going to lose my baby. That's all that you and Brash had left me with. And if you'd have known, you'd have still done it! Oh, yeah. Save it for the barman, Victoria. I'm not interested. You want a drink? Then we start shouting at each other. I grab him, I should have hit him, but I didn't. And now he's took me for the game on Sunday. What's happened, eh? Nothing, mate. Just problems with Fletch, that's all. Oh, no surprises there, then. Where are you two being? You went to see Ray? Yeah, we tried to get him to withdraw his resignation. And? Oh, go ahead, my friend. I don't believe this. My whole career is going to go to pot if Fletch stays as manager. Tell me about it, bruv. Hey, Vips. Right. You've perked up. What's all that about? Well, I've had a good day. Are you back on the team? No, that's not the important thing. But someone came in to see me today about me gambling. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Danny fixed me up to see his old man. And he spoke to me about his gambling and how he came through it. And did it help? Yeah. It was great that... Somebody understood what it was all about, like, how I feel, and, like, he, he told me what I need to do in order to stop gambling and what he called staying stopped. And do you reckon you can? I don't know. But I'm just going to enjoy a little bit of hope that I got today, and I'm going to go to bed tonight without a gamble, and I'm going to get up tomorrow, give him a ring, try and get through the next 24 hours. Jamie, tell me we're going to make it. Well, I'm not promising that I'm going to... Start being honest, but I'm going to promise to try. Excuse me, Mrs. Wyatt. Can I have a word, please, Gaffer? You better make it quick. I just want to check on the babysitter. I'll leave you two to it. Sit down. What can I do you for?
thought when I saw you I'd feel a sense of relief. Relief? That you got what you deserved. And do you? No. How are you? I'm surviving. Ray and I are leaving. Ooh. What about the team? I don't suppose it's anything to do with me now, is it, really? But you still care. So does he. He's just hiding it better than you. Yeah, well, he's come so far. I mean, even with the money problems, the team kept winning. It was down to him, nobody else. The boys are distraught. Although he's not saying anything, I know he feels like he's letting them down. You've been... Well, you've been like a father to me. M more than a father. So what's your point? Well, you say we're supposed to be experienced players, that we can handle ourselves on the pitch. And you are? And you can? No, I can't. You brought me to this club as a kid. And now you're a man. You're forgetting, Ray. This is my first season in the Premiership. And already, I'm supposed to boss the midfield against some of the best players in England. And you've done it? Yeah, only when I can look onto the bench and see you there, shouting at me and giving me the thumbs up. Do you remember when Roy Keane belted me six foot up in the air? You said to me at half-time, show him who's the governor, nutmeg him in the second half. And you did? Yeah, and he respected me for it. I mean, we even swapped shirts at the end. I want you to have it. Ray. I can't go out there on Sunday and do it against the likes of Frank Lampard. And then there's Carrick and Cole. I'm going to look towards the bench and there'll be an empty space and then I'll turn around and I'll have Fletcher screaming in my face. I'm knackered, Ray. You're the only thing that's keeping me going. Please don't go. I'm sorry, son. Whatever you think of Titania, whatever's happened with Linda, you owe it to those boys. Kitty. It's only one game. What about you? I'm going to take William and go to Devon. You don't need me here. What about Linda? I trust you, Ray. I don't know if I'll ever forgive you for what you did, but I do trust you. You just better not let me down. OK, lads, um, certain representations have been made to me. And OK, I think we should finish what we started. One more game, so I'll do it. Okay. <laughs> yes, yes. Celebration, lads. Get a Bowman. Cheers, lads. You should hang on to this, son. Memories are too important to give away. Thanks. Come and get a drink, boss. Cheers, lads. Nice man. Next time on Dream Team. Mr. Pressure and Sorry, by asking before you, you say anything, can I just say that Hartstrom <laughs> are going to win this afternoon and we're going into Europe. And I want all Dragons fans to bring their passports to the game, <laughs> raise them proudly above their heads because you and I will be needing them. Rome, Barcelona, Paris, next season we're travelling. I don't want you here to understand. This is my club now. You lost, I won, so please go. Go!